it's Stephanie with Copy Paper Scissors. So I'm gonna be working on a couple of book page pockets today. Um, this is this video is to um, what's the right word? <clears throat> Colleen at Get Art Creations is doing a giveaway, and it's um, in order to enter the giveaway, we are supposed to make um, book page pockets, and she gives an example of one. It doesn't have to be exactly that one, but she's hoping for something that, you know, flips and, you know, that has like an opening, that sort of a thing that flips up. And, um, but she said it doesn't have to be like that, but that's what she was kind of hoping for. And then to decorate it and send it to her. And then um, she's gonna make a journal for herself to keep of the things that we send her. The thing that she is giving away is something else. I'm going to link her video below of the giveaway announcement. So, and it, it is um, at the end of February is when she's gonna do the drawing. So we have to hurry. <laughs> I've been trying to get finished with my journals and um, I was like, come on, Stephanie, hurry up because I wanted to enter this. So I, I kind of started, I didn't do it exactly like she did. I don't think I was going to put as much paper on top of it. So I needed to um, reinforce it better with this. So we're looking to make our page longer because like she says in a video where she's explaining it, if you just do this and this, it makes your flap really short, you know, like here's your pocket, here's your flap. That's way smaller than this one. So if you double your paper up, you make it longer, then you can have a bigger pocket. Now, if you haven't done a lot of playing with book page, you know that sometimes you have to attach things upside down so that when you fold it, the pages are right side up. So that's what I'm going to be doing first. And I am going to flip over just this little edge to give it a little bit of stability for whatever goes down into the pocket. So let's do that. We're gonna glue it down. I'm gonna try and be a little faster doing this video today. Um, my last video, it just, they always go way longer than I think that they're going to. It's just, I don't know. I don't understand. So I'm thinking if my pocket is around that, she does give measurements. You know, she's, she said, um, if you want to make something that's the width of four inches and the height of about six inches, um, and that way, whatever we send will fit into a standard sized journal. So, so you see this page is upside down. This, the writing is right side up. Oh, I'm gonna need one more sheet of paper. Anyway, so when you fold this up, the writing is the right way. Let me cut one more page. I have pages pulled out. I just need to cut, cut it down. So this particular book that I pulled the pages out of, it's almost, when you cut the edges off, it's almost perfectly four inches. It's just slightly above, I think. So that works out. All right, so then this way, if you do this, so I'm gonna double it up again back here. Um, but if you do this, you see the words are upside down. So you have to flip it like this. So these words are upside down. These words are right side up. And then what I was thinking was I was going to, in order so that I have a full double layer of book page all the way through, I'm folding it down to meet this page right here. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and just use this. I'm using the Uhu because I'm going to be sewing all the way around this, so it's not going to come apart. So then I'm going to be putting glue here and here and then put them together like that. And again, I'm going to be sewing, so the Uhu will keep it in place until I sew. 
I'm gonna put a little here, because you know when you do two glues and you stick them together, it makes it more sturdy, right? I learned that somewhere. I, I don't know if it's correct or not, but I, I learned it somewhere. Working with glue stick is really, well, you know, it's just fussy. That's what it is, it's fussy. Uh, this seam will be covered. I'm gonna cover it with something, so. I'm trying to get it lined up and it's not, not the easiest thing in the world to do. Okay. So then I didn't, I hadn't glued my pocket on. I meant to glue my pocket on. I didn't realize that I hadn't until I lifted it up. All right, so the pocket, again, this part is the pocket. We, we glued just this little part down right here. So now I'm gonna put glue here and here. I have another pocket idea that I haven't tried it. Oh goodness. Oh, it's going to be glued together, right? It's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. Maybe. <laughs> I think it's going to be fine. If it isn't, then I will make, well, I have this other one that I made first. So we'll use this one if the torn one isn't okay. I'm telling you what. I have these little sayings, you know, my parents are both from the South, and so I say things sometimes that I get from them, from them. My, um, my mom would say, Mindigo, Mindigo, and I'm like, Mom, what is Mindigo? Does it mean a minute ago? She says, that's funny, I never really thought about it, but yes. <laughs> it's like she didn't realize that's what she was saying. Okay, again, that's going to be sewn, so not a big deal. Now this is going to be our flap. And she suggested about six inches. Let me get out a ruler. That's about six inches. Let me go just a little bit. I want it to um, cover the opening uh, where the pocket starts. Okay. So, this right here is the pocket, this is the flap, okay? So that's what I did here. This one is slightly shorter, but um, what I did next was I took and I sewed across here, and I sewed right here, and now what I'm going to do is, let me think. I'm gonna go ahead and glue the pocket because that can happen now. You don't want to glue the pocket before you stitch across here. If you're stitching, you don't have to stitch, but if you're stitching. Okay, so there is that. I have a paper pack that I have never used. I won it, actually. Let me close this. I won it a long time ago, and then I never got around to using it. Um, so I pulled it out. It's really pretty. Now, where did I put it? I mean, literally, there it is. <laughs> I just had it in my hands. This paper pack is from Cara Brennan Creations. It's called Song of Autumn. But it doesn't have to be used in the autumn, you know? It, just because the, the, the colors are that, it doesn't mean it has to be. So what I'm going to do is... I think it would be pretty to take like this and put it kind of right here. I want to see some of the Okay, here's what I'm going to do. And I'm just going to I'm just going to cut. And then go from there. So this I will cut a little straighter so I can get the okay and then I'm going to cut this part straight of course that whole thing's not going to fit I'm thinking I'll do this and then I will tear
care of the rest. And then how much do I want? Two. This part I'll use my paper cutter. It's real pretty. Okay. Okay, so I am going to glue that down there. You know, I need to put some right there in the corner. I would put way too much. Okay. So there's that. I need to put a little ink where this fold is. I like to be aware of my folds. Now I want to cover this. So I'm going to take this and we're just going to tear it. This side, we're going to put it up against the edge, and then we'll ink it. You guys, I have too much stuff on my my phone, and I need to go through and clear it out. I'm having to make sure things are deleted and, and stuff before I can make another video. So that covers... Actually, I might need to tear just, I mean, cut on this darker line. Okay. I wish I was better at cleaning up after myself as I went, because now I have all these little pieces and they're, they're everywhere, everywhere, and they're sticking to me. Okay, so it comes with, well, let's see, what do we want to put here? It would be nice to put something that kind of blends with this, wouldn't it? And I think this works perfectly. Let's see. So, well, I'm going to be tearing that. I need to have a straight cut over here. So I'm just going to cut on the edge where the butterfly is. I'll line it up to that there. Ish. straight across at the top. Do I? Yes. Hmm. Hmm. Just do it, Stephanie. Just do it, Stephanie. I was thinking I wanted it to be like this is here. I want this top to be like that, but I'm going to lose. I'm going to lose some of my butterflies doing it that way. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to tear along and as close to these butterflies as I possibly can. I should have I should have done it differently, but this is fine. Sometimes it's really hard to get close to the edge, isn't it? That's fine. 
I mean, it's good. It's not just fine. I think it's lovely. So that's really cute, I think. Um, so the kit comes with some tags. Let me see here. And I, fortunately, I printed them on cardstock when I did this originally. So let's see. Hmm. Okay. So my pocket is, this size tag is going to be better. There isn't any decoration at the top though, so that's that's kind of a bummer. Maybe if I do two different colors, I'll do, let's see, it's going to be much faster if I use my trimmer. Hopefully you guys are in camera. do uh, this one goes along with the butterfly idea oh, I can cut that myself okay so I'll do two of these and I'll do this color Here I am making a mess and just throwing stuff around. Throwing stuff around. I'm trying to hurry, that's why. I mean, no, this that's an excuse. I would be throwing stuff around anyway. Okay. So I have two tags. inside I'm going to ink around them and I'll, I'll do something to because they're just so plain up there right but then will one of these tags yeah so she if I do this she could glue it down um actually I'm gonna make it just a little bit smaller so that it glues down very easily. So I'm going to do that. Cut these. Hopefully these are in camera okay. Oh yeah, smaller. Mm, I think that's about the same looks real skinny, but if you think about it being back behind here, then it's really not. Scissors. Okay, so I am going to stop the video. I'm going to sew. Um, so. so what I'm going to do is you have to make sure you open it because if you start sewing it, you're going to sew your, your lid, your closure down. So I'm gonna start down here and sew all the way around it like that, okay? I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so I told you wrong. Of course I did. I said sew across here and sew across here. You didn't have to sew across here. You just have to sew across here because you glue that down and then you go all the way around like that. So I ended up having to stop and then start again, but that's fine. So here's how it turned out. And then I went ahead and I added a couple things to the top, inked. So those go down into the pocket. And then 
I just add a couple things to the top and a tab and stitched around and inked. So then if it goes on a page, then it glues down and it could be glued down like this and you could put something in here or it can be glued down like this and it can be put down in there. So this is going to go to Colleen and then I wanted to make another, I'll, I will make this and you know, decorate it for myself. I wanted to make another pocket. It just, it's probably been done before, but I, I haven't seen it. And so I was thinking, oh, that might be kind of fun. And I'm gonna send it to Colleen too. I'm just gonna send her too. So um, if you guys would like to join the fun, she would love it. Um, again, the information for her channel and this, this video um, is in the description box. I am going to cut the top part off. No, yes, no. Not all of it, part of it. I'll do part of it. Okay, and then that'll fit well on a page. And then I'm thinking maybe it would be one that you would do this way. Because, well, otherwise, how long would it be? Well, I could do it the same way. I could do it the same way. We'll do that. Okay. Now for this one, I should have folded that under to make it more firm. That's okay. I can just add, I can just add a little something back there to stiffen it up. Let's just do that real quick so you guys know what I mean. I mean, you can always, it would have been better for me to fold it over, but you can always just um, add a layer of something. I do that quite often. To thicken it up. Okay. And then we'll cut that off and that will be fine. That way when you put something down in there, it doesn't tear. There's just the slightest little I really did not need to cut that off. Literally a hair. But that's all right. That's all right. Okay. Here's what I'm thinking. I'm going to leave this because I'm going to fold it over. So I'm thinking if we fold the it over to where it's not completely to the words, you know, like you can still see a little bit of the words showing because then we would want to fold this over. Let me glue this down. I'm gonna put just a little bit of glue on the edge if I can do a little bit. A little bit is really hard for me. I'm very heavy handed with the glue. Okay. So then I can cut it on this side to the words. Sorry about that. And this, I want to fold over like that, and it would go here. Okay, so I should have left it a little longer. Hmm. Oh, I see, it's because, I see. Since I haven't inked it or anything, it's not going to show, right? It's not going to show. It's going to be fine. Okay, that meets up pretty well. This needs to be cut off. Okay. 
Okay, and then we want to do the same thing on the other side. So I want to fold it to where I see just a little bit of the letters. See? And then I want to fold this, not all the way, because if I fold it all the way, it's covering up more of the letters than I want it to. So I'm just going to, I'm going to, I'm going to guess. I can trim it. So like that. It's going to end up being kind of thick, but it's okay. So let's glue this down. And we'll go ahead and cut. I'm just following the line at the bottom. Okay. Oh yeah, and I need to cut that side. Maybe it would be better in the end to always cut this last. take a minute you guys so I'm going to I'm gonna glue this down so I don't have so many moving parts and then we'll glue this down and of course you can stop at this um, And just make this your pocket, you know. You could put it into a page and this right here would be your pocket. And you could glue it down so that it's a pocket here or a pocket here. But I was thinking to go further with it. So I don't like that one because it says stupid at the top. Another thing I've noticed about the Reader's Digest, I have no idea how much I'm in camera here. The Reader's Digest books is that they, they, they're not like pleasant stories, <laughs> not at all. <laughs> um, now I'm going from the other side here, so it's a little different. I think what I need to do, oh, okay, I just need to do that. Okay, so the same thing. So we're just going to do the same thing, but we're going to make it shorter. You see, like that. So then... We want our fold to be about the same. This is a lot of paper. It's a lot of paper. But I think it's going to look cool. So who cares, right? It's fine. This I think is going to be fine because it's not going to show. Wait, is that the right side? No. It needs to go this way. Yeah, it. these, I don't know. I don't know how to find, you know, the nice words, but... There's right here, it says drunk. <laughs> nice. Alcohol, right there. Um, so 
So we want to fold this over. Kind of like that, I think. See if that's good. It's a little torn on this side, but that's okay. It'll be fine. Actually, I'll probably put that one under. Okay. That's good. Let's go ahead and cut. Hold everything in place. I have a lot of layers of paper here. I mean, it's not the thickest of pages, so that's fine. This needs to be glued down. stuff close it so I want to ink on the edge here and the edge here and it's just so that it stands out you know otherwise the I didn't glue that down otherwise it all just kind of blends together and you don't even notice that you have multiple layers of book page, which I think is fun. So let's go ahead and glue that. I'm not going to take out my glue uh, stick again. I'll just do this. Okay, then we'll glue this one. Uh, that's probably not gonna show. One side will, one side won't. I'm not sure which side is which, so maybe I'll go ahead and ink. All right, because I'm thinking if I put this one on the inside, then the part that's torn won't show. Oh, isn't that pretty? I'm sure somebody's made one before, but... And I think maybe I'll just put some decorative paper here. Okay, so let's glue. I'm gonna put glue just before into. So I'm gonna do glue here. And here. And here. Oh, well, I need to close it too, don't I? So I need to put glue here. Once I sew, you know, this one is a little different. You know, I think it would be pretty to sew here, sew here, but I'm just not going to do that this time. You don't have to sew everything, right? Okay, so again, you could just leave it as a one layer little thing. Oops, I need to do here. I need to do this side. I don't know how much of anything is gonna be showing at this point. Okay, so I want this one to go on next. So I really just need to, I need to glue it down in the back. of anything is going to show once again and you could leave it at this but I'm going to do one more so we'll glue it on to the back So 
there's just a little edge poking out down here. Okay, and then this I will glue here and here. Oh, and across the bottom. All right. But she said she wanted a flap. So I'm still gonna give it a flap, you guys. So let's get another piece of paper. We want it to be How can I do this? No, that needs to go like. See, I don't know if I'll be able to get it long enough. This is what I'm not sure about. I'm gonna fold it at the words. sure that's going to work. Of course, it's going to have a weird little thing right here. Hmm. I don't know. Let's just do it and see how it turns out. in the way. I'm just just lining it up so I can <sighs> glue stick. I guess I did need it again. Now if I hadn't done the second layer of pocket, then we wouldn't have that little fold over part showing. All right. I'm going to ink it before I put it on. This will be showing on the other side. The only thing that's not going to be showing is this little flap that I'm gluing down. But I'm going to fold it this way so I can glue right here. I don't know if you guys notice it when I'm filming and my my light starts flickering. Do you guys see that? It drives me crazy. It means I've had it on too long, I guess. Um, I'm just about finished for the day, but I've been in and out of here all day long. Okay. All right, let's glue that down. And then I will do some sewing and find some tags to put in it. Come on, Stephanie, don't mess it up now. And then we'll come back and see how it looks all done. See you in a minute. Okay, you guys, I'm finished. I went ahead and decorated the whole thing. So we did the this part of it, and then I took it and I sewed all the way around. And then I took and tore some, you know, of the decoration out of um, one of the pages. And then I found within some of the other pages of that kit, I found this. And I just folded it in half and um, glued it together and sewed around to make a journaling card out of that one. And then this is 
one of the tags, I added this, sewed around it. So that goes in here. And then I took another one of the tags and I, I made it thinner, added these and a tab at the top. So then on a book page, it looks like this. I think it's really cute. This is paper that was, you know, that, I don't know if you guys remember, but a long time ago they had that, um, oh, I don't know what you call it, but it's like a marbled texture-y looking paper that's really not cute, <laughs> but I coffee dyed it a long time ago. It actually looks really good with these, doesn't it? So anyway, there, there are the two that um, I have made today for Colleen at Get Art Creations. I'm going to pop those in the mail to her. You guys, she would love it if you would enter her giveaway. And she is giving away um, a book. Uh, it's Natasha at Treasure Books book. So go over, check out the video that is in my description box and show her some love. Show me some love by giving me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't. Thank you for watching. See you soon. Bye.